Hello, welcome back to Tank Talks and today here we are here at Ernest's place and looking at his very cool uh, water box tank, it's like a 20 gallon tank, immaculate 45 cm cube, you know, by water box once again. Um, you know, you got him from, uh, I think, Expo, um, from AQ Telia, the Actelia, sorry, um, Lorenzo, who we, we spoke with in our previous video. And here we have, uh, man, this tank is like, great. I've seen photos from when it was before, like a different scape, like two little islands, and now you thought about it a while, and now it has this very cool, grand sort of feel to it. It looks way bigger in pictures, and in person, I saw, oh, this is much, I thought it was like a, at least like a, like a two foot cube or something. But now having seen it, it's really packed. I think this is like a, like an end stage kind of thing. I don't really think you, you want to add any more. It's like perfect. There's a, a little bit of island everywhere. It's like Aikens, torches, Zoas. It's a, I like how they put it. People usually put elegances on the ground, but this is, this is quite cute. He has managed to get his rainbow name to stay in the cup, which I can never get to do. Uh, GSP is growing, everything is great. And he has a lot of uh, some cool equipment that I don't generally see in Singapore. So I was asking him about earlier. We'll take a look at it later. But yeah. Uh, enjoy this for now. We'll take a look at the sum and stuff later when the, in the bureau. But what can I say? Great thing. Okay, now we look at the sump. So, very simple sump. There's actually no sump. It's just, a, it's just the, the cabinet. That's for the ATO with kelp also with a good trusty old Tunzi um, ATO, which he has had apparently since 2019. It's pretty good. I heard these things are workhorse. They last really long. So, good for you, Tunzi. Uh, the, AI con the AI hydro controller is here. There's a little grow tech pump. I've never heard of the brand. It told me that um, he wanted some giveaway from um, online uh, Instagrammers, but it's pretty cool. It uh, works well. It's one-headed pump, and the pump's all for reef, which is the only thing he doses alongside with uh, this. Let me, let me grab that. This little, I don't know what this is. I'm going to read it. It's like amino acid concentrate. So he says, uh, tips from the inappropriate reefer. So shout out to you, friend. Um, it's pretty cool. So he uses this every day, and it's pretty much it for what's underneath. Very neat, very tidy. Uh, he has a Hylia chiller, you know, the ones that most most Singaporean reefers use. I think it's the lowest price point for a chiller. Don't, apparently they don't last that long. I haven't had mine malfunction yet. Um, but yeah, I haven't had it for like two, three years. Kind of get a new one, but they are like a fraction of the cost of like whatever the next thing is. So even if you were to buy or replace it two or three times, it's probably still cheaper. But you don't really want it failing on you before you do that. So probably want to change it out a little bit before then, once you feel it's getting a bit aged, but you know, just something to take note. Uh, now, you know, some look at other equipment. He has an auto feeder here. What light is this? I believe it's a Hydra, AI, Hydra. And Nero as well, so Nero 5, I'm told. Pretty, pretty substantial for the tank, but given that how much corals he has and the flow he needs to get all over the tank, it's good enough. Um, and he has a little monitor here, but this brand called Tectoli, we'll show it to you later. It basically monitors your temperature, your pH, and your specific grad empty, PVD, hover, the, the different variations of your salinity measurement unit. But yeah, it's a very simple tank um, in, in the best of ways. It is elegant, simple, it's clean and neat. Um, not really going to get into trouble with your parents or your significant other. Um, and it's quiet. And it just sits in the living room by the TV. It's a great little piece to add to your home. If everyone tells you, oh, it's really difficult to keep, bro, but no, nah, not really. And there's, that doesn't have to be as obtrusive as like a giant six, seven foot tank for it to be really pretty. Um, he has done a remarkable job maintaining an uh, appropriate amount of fish in the tank. A lot of people are very uh, guilty of stuffing a lot of fish in the tank. I, I know compared to the US, Singaporeans tend to pack their tanks a little bit tighter, especially with smaller fish, but 
there are reefers five minute, 10 minute drives away where everyone, people always kind of rehome their fishes when they get too big. So I don't think it's that big of a deal. If you had a small baby blue tank here, you can rehome it. It's not a big deal. Um, but maintain such an impressive array of corals at a pretty high degree. He only has two little clownfish and a Midas Blenny. And that's it. That's all he really needs. And the focus is more on the coral. You have to fish for a little bit of movement and see how they wreck the environment. But this is like a, like a master class almost, right? At keep, me, keep it simple. Stupid, you know, it's great. So, yeah, well, we'll talk to Ernest, the owner of the tank, in another video. But, uh, you know, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much. And let us know what you think about this tank. And um, if you would like one too, we'll put his. He's also, uh, he has a presence on social media as well for reefing. And we will leave his. Um, his handles in the description so please support him there and uh, thank you very much bye